Today we are going to make palak paneer or spinach and cottage cheese curry. Here are the ingredients we will need. Two tablespoons of desi ghee or clarified butter. Half a kg of palak or spinach leaves. These have been boiled and pureed. We'll also need two tomatoes. These have been pureed as well. Two onions and one bulb of garlic. This has been pureed as well. One tablespoon of grated ginger. 100 grams of paneer which has been cubed. One teaspoon of kasuri methi, dry fenugreek leaves, half a teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of red chili powder, three fourths of a teaspoon of salt. Initially, we will put this much, and later on, if need be, we will add more. So, we have kept the wok or kadai on medium heat, and we are going to add the desi ghee to it and let it melt. And once this is melted, we'll add in the onion and garlic puree. So the puree is in. And now we're going to stir this for about a minute. Let the heat be around medium. So this is done. We'll add in the kasuri methi now. Now stir the kasuri methi until it blends with the onion garlic puree. So add the grated garlic now. You can use ginger paste also. And stir this until the water dries out and it turns a bit brown. Now add in the tomato puree and stir it in and then add the spices. Now add the salt, the red chili powder, the garam masala, and the coriander powder. Cook the tomato puree for four to five minutes so that it thickens and the spices also get roasted in the process. The tomato puree is done, add in the spinach puree. The heat is on high at the moment. Once a little water dries out, we'll cover it with a lid partially and carry on the cooking process. Carry on cooking until about 50% of the water dries out and then we will add an optional ingredient which is malai or fresh cream. So it's time now to add the fresh cream. Remember this is an optional ingredient. You can add if you want to. Stir it in thoroughly and carry on the cooking process by placing the lid back on and cook it until all the extra water dries out. And now all the extra water has almost dried out. It's time to add the paneer or the cottage cheese. So there's the paneer going in. Now stir it for about two to three minutes, but be careful as the paneer is soft and might break. And now our palak paneer dish is ready. We'll transfer it to a serving bowl. So here is our dish of the day. Palak paneer or spinach and cottage cheese curry. Do try it and give us your feedback. And please share our video. Thanks for watching. Have a very nice day.